Good morning, this is Alamon, and welcome back to episode 11 of Courageous Korea. In our last episode, we took over Sakhalin, but accidentally gave it to the Yuren instead of to ourselves. So this is not going to help our colonial range. We still can't get up here yet, which is very frustrating. That's uh, just the danger that comes with vassalizing, I suppose. Uh, there is this little um, uprising going on here. I'm sure that my vassals will take care of it soon enough. It looks like he's already on his way. We're now gearing up for war with Japan. Our army's large enough. They do have to uh, recover their, um, just the, uh, whatever you want to call it, Reg regimental strength, I guess. Uh, we're also building some ships to help us with that as well. I suppose we should probably unmop all those galleys if we're going to be using them. Let's move our galleys to Kyungju. Um, what else do we have? There's our transports, also moved to Kyungju. And our army. This would probably be a good time to uh, check the ledger. Look for Japan. Oh, they actually have a very small fleet. That amazes me. I'm not sure why it would be that small. Now, let's also hope that um, the Ming are still friendly with us. Yes, they are, so they would almost certainly join our war with Japan. Um, they're not in any wars right now. Who's that ally? The Buryatia. Oh, but they are eventually going to be one of my targets. Eh. And then Ava. I don't know who Ava is. Well, let's keep our eyes on the prize. So, um, a 10 stack, that's pretty big. Right, here's our ships. Oops. Then we just have to wait for that claim fabrication to finish. Now, unfortunately, our vassals really will not be of any help to us in this war. I want to do a little bit of scouting here. So there is no army on Awa. Or rather, on um, Shikoku. So I have to decide how I want to do this. Because this is the island that I want. I just need to um, get their army off of it. So if I started to stage a landing over here... Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. Let's um, take all the transports, move the transports up there. Let's also set our army up here. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, we will want a general. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh -huh, terrible. Terrible, terrible. Well, I don't want to spend any more military power than that. Um, no, I'm not going to do tech quite this moment. I need to be able to see everything going on on this island. Alright, our claim is almost ready. And it looks like that's really like their whole fleet almost. Um, just sitting in that dock. 
or that porch. Very nearly there. Ten days. Here we go. So now we are ready to declare war. We will say, take Tikuzin. Now we will tell this army to start traveling over there. Okay, I'm getting a little suspicious. So they have another nine stack somewhere. This fleet should be returning home. Oh, because th oh, the Ming... Well, that's not what I wanted to happen at all. Well, we might still just want to try to knock out the other army. Oh, that's unfortunate. I just actually let them get another unit by doing that. Well, it'll have low morale. Well, let's hope that we win this battle. They have no leader, so we actually do have the uh, overall advantage. There's no river crossing. Um, well, they do have woods, but uh, we're fighting them, so... Okay. Some good, some bad. But we won. We'll chase them down. And I think that we're just going to kind of run around killing their armies. So um, it looks like they only have one general and they're just keeping him on that island. Actually, why don't we just go raiding? of nice rating there. Oh, actually, I, um... Yeah. So this is not blockaded right now. I'm not sure why they're still staying there. Oh no, now it's blockaded again. Eh. Who knows. I 
know I'm just kind of wasting time in this war. So I could get military access through them, which will put me over my diplo limit. But we'll see if we can make it across the strait before they uh, get to us. Actually, these guys are quite beaten up. I think I might wait at least one more month. All right, that's enough waiting. Oh, I'm sorry for that background noise there. Someone with a leaf blower outside, I think. Well, uh, we have made it onto the island, and they're just going to keep recruiting. So I guess we should try to hit them as quickly as possible. And um, no matter what, we're going to have a wider army than they do. So we'll just consolidate our regiments. Okay, that's not going to go. Okay, yes, annexation. Interesting timing. Actually, that's quite nice timing, because after this battle, um, we will have taken quite a lot of losses, we can immediately uh, consolidate regiments, and we hopefully won't be over a force limit by that much. Anyway, integration is a slow process. Kind of years, but it's unfortunate. But yeah, we're going to win this battle. Um, yeah, we'll repay what loans we can. Oh, and I meant... Oh, darn it. No, everybody back together. Um, let's actually... put army maintenance at the minimum for a second. Wait, where are our other... Oh, they're... What the heck are they doing? Oh, we're somehow at war with the Oirat. Oh, I didn't even realize. That is silly. Alright, uh, consolidate those regiments. <clears throat> Bump army. Oh my gosh, wow, we are still far over our force limit, obviously. Oh, and that includes navies. Let's just move everybody right here for now. We don't want all these extra horses. Yeah, we're going to take that. So we're still a bit over our army force limit, but not terribly far over. Let's just get rid of any uh, weakened units. Okay, so how's it looking now? Okay, we do have a positive balance. Oh no, but that's with army maintenance. Not at full. With it full, we are still losing money. Um, but some of that... No, you know, I think that that's probably out of date. I think it's not going to be nearly that bad.
So we're going to siege down at least these five provinces for now. Um, maybe we'll also send somebody over to Setsu. Okay, uh, combine all these together. Um, get rid of one of those cogs. The rest I kind of want to keep, though. Let's move the galleys here, because that's where their main fleet is. ships aren't enough to blockade all those ports. Alright, never mind. So they are building up an army. They will be able to challenge me. Uh, let's, um... do that. Mm. This has been kind of a weird war. Good. fortifications, but only temporarily. I've never seen this event before. Preparing our defenses. Well, I don't think that either of these is particularly useful. Let's just say the capital and surrounding provinces. Well, once we've wiped out um, virtually all of the weapons. Right? stability, but we will lose the stability just because our economy is not doing super well right now. Alright, stability and expansion. 
Actually, I didn't really need to boost that, I suppose. But uh, it does help with money. You're going to Tazuna. And still retreating to Itsumo. There we go, stack wiped again. Cancelled military access. Well, I don't see any more armies. Well, there's that one that just popped up, but... So we have... Controlled the war goal. So the Oirat are still in this war. Um, They're not willing to peace out yet, though. <coughs> the Ming do not have any claims on Oira territory, so... There's nothing to uh, give the Ming. Alright, well, in our next episode, we will finish up this war. Until then... Good night, sleep tight, and don't let the gray skin bite. Bye-bye.